Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of the Slow Podcast. Hey, you know what it is? Your weekly podcast on the Sakamichi series auto groups. It's going to be Nogi Zaka 46, Sakura Zaka 46, Hinata Zaka 46, and Yoshimoto Zaka 46. This is season 4, episode 25. Ooh, man, already halfway through the year. Um, this week, we got lots of news, uh, some Bemi Ho news, as well as some uh, new photo books announcements, as well as a bunch of stage plays coming out from... Nogi Zako 46. But before we get to all that, I'm Jimmy, aka Jimmy Tweets. I'm one of your hosts. I'm joined as always by my friends and my fellow hosts. We have Boy, Boy Coon, and Josh, Mr. Josh Box. How's it going, fellas? I see everyone going got okay. the memo today. Ooh. Yeah. Hello. And by the memo, we 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 showed up into the in the, the call before we actually went live and I was wearing a hat and we said we're all wearing hats now. I only had a straw hat available, so. <laughs> so then I put on this shirt. Don't tell them I'm... that. You tell them you're repping the straw hat pirates, dude. He well, had, see, he had pirate many right now because he, had he was many part of the straw hats hat lined pirates, up, you know? dude. He had many hats lined up. He was like, "Dude, I'm wearing this one and this one." No, I'm gonna do this it. It's like my what boy he wore Luffy when he today. when he recruited a silver Rayleigh, you know? <laughs> yeah, dude. Totally. <laughs> totally. Yeah, dude, I need to start um, watching One Piece again, but it's been Ace, too am I busy. Right, boys? Ace. Ah, oh. <laughs> he has a cowboy hat though. Shit. Mm. Oh fuck, dude. My my, my image is falling apart already. Um, isn't isn't oh. One Piece going on like a, a hiatus, like the manga, or For maybe month. a break for a month? Mm-hmm. Okay, that, that barely counts as a hiatus. Dude. That barely. Arc. Barely counts as a hiatus, dude. As a, as someone who read Berserk week like or month to month, uh, one month uh, hiatus ain't nothing, dude. <laughs> That's just a regular, <laughs> a regular, early chapter. Yeah, dude. That's fine. Berserk is uh, kind of get an ending. Did you guys hear about that? This is kind of old news, but just because we brought it up just now. Yeah, I think it's like a friend, right? Cool. Who's gonna like? Yeah. So I mean, because he, well, I mean, he's always been like discussing it with his like assistants and his editors and stuff like that right and so like they they were very in the uh in the know for how he wanted to wrap up the story so i guess mm-hmm. they're just trying to um based upon what knowledge they had before his passing and all of his notes and stuff like that try to come together and give the story the ending that you know i, I think the fans do deserve you know um, mm-hmm. that's cool yeah, yeah that yeah. is great to hear mm-hmm. maybe but when it actually finishes i'll re- i'll i'll start reading it oh one of my friends just bought the uh the like volume one of the deluxe edition because he found it at like a library used and so he just yeah he just picked it up and he's ones. like oh i think i'll finally check this out and i'm like oh <laughs> guess <laughs> i have to do my reread <laughs> the only thing i know of berserk is um the the anime they made Oh, it was I'm like so in sorry. the nineties, right? Oh, the nineties anime. Yeah, 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 yeah. They had, properly. Yeah, the yeah. Yeah, and it had that ending. I was like, "Damn, dude, what? Why? Oh, yeah. Why?" It's funny because that's like in the Why middle of the manga, right? No, that's like the beginning. That's the setup. But not the not the very beginning. It's like no, no, it is the beginning. Like well, he meets Griffith and stuff. And, that you know. that's basically like you're saying if you if you're comparing it to JoJo, it's like not even getting to the stands yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, like. Like time, like n- like time wise, yes, it's in the beginning, but like chapter wise and numbers, it's it doesn't come until later, right? No, yeah, that's like the beginning of the story still, chapter wise. Maybe I'm remembering wrong. I don't know. Golden Age arc is literally yeah. the first. It's like the first part of JoJo's, <laughs> dude. Yeah, that's that's all I uh, I have seen or read of Berserk. That's that's all uh, most people have seen already. The Blizzard, old they anime. Keep readapting that part. And I'm like, please, give us a good right. adaptation of the other stuff, dude. Right. Because like the like yeah they made like the movies more recently, right? Like those mm. those look good, and then they made the the really shitty anime. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean that was after. Yeah, that oh, was this, after. This, but, this, oh god, it looks so CG bad. CG anime. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I got mm. stuck on the boat. That's why I stopped off. Hmm. The boat do be rough, dude. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
you know, I think the boat. Let me know when it finishes. Is, yeah, for sure. I think the boat's only rough because it's like, if you're reading it as it was coming out, mm-hmm. there were so many hiatuses and stuff in between that it felt like, like this boat arc is years long, dude. Oh my god, let us get off this boat already, dude. But then when I reread it, like, uh, like a couple years ago, I was like, oh, it's actually not that long. Mm. But you know, it's like it's like when you if you rewatch like Naruto or something. You like, you think like the the Chunin arc was like so many fucking episodes. I mean, it kind of is. Okay, that's a bad example. I don't know. I don't know what's a good example. <laughs> but it's just like, oh shit, this shit actually so, went by faster than I remember, dude. I think you should watch One Piece, uh, like one arc at a time and not week by week. Mm-hmm. So mm, that makes sense. Yeah, I feel I feel like most shonen anime kind of works like that, especially the the older ones, right? That have that very long running format mm-hmm. like if you're watching it week by week you're, you're not getting a sense of like the pacing at all right Cause yeah because it's, like, it's all it's, broken yeah yeah like and especially if it's like you know an action part like plot wise nothing happens that episode you know and you're just like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. oh we're hurt. it's like if you watch dragon ball you watch the frieza arc cell saga and then the boo saga right yeah, yeah. If you, if you only watched one episode of, of Frieza arc, you'd be like, dude, this this sucks, dude. You know what That's I mean? Like, Dragon like Ball Z nothing time. happened. They, Dragon Ball Z. They, they just yelled the entire time, dude. What, uh-huh. what am I watching? But then you watch the whole arc, and you're like, oh, man, dude. He did it for, for the, Sa- the Saiyajins mm-hmm. out there, dude. Oh. Take my energy. <laughs> but anyways, uh, how have you guys been, huh? Busy. Been all right. As... Mm. You can tell. I don't know. Um, Are you doing homework? I'm, I'm doing. Um, yes, that's why <laughs> for the past two weeks, I have not ran the show. Yeah, dude. If it's uh, I... if it's jank, you guys are just gonna have to deal with it. This is this is the best we're gonna get it. Okay, <laughs> while I'm running it, it's fine. It looks fine as long as it looks fine. We're gonna mm-hmm. be okay. Yeah. Uh, Yep, it's just uh, same old shit. This this month is m- just busy. Mm-hmm. Uh, is next week your last week? Next week is finals week. Oof. And then it's AX, baby. I'm going to be there Friday okay. and Friday night, evening, night. Yeah. And then Saturday, Saturday during the day. So if anyone's going to be out there. At AX, let's say what's uh, up. Yeah, say what's up. Might be shooting videos. Who knows? Yeah, maybe we can have an actual input from someone who actually listens to these idols. <laughs> yeah, boy, yeah, Josh, so. you're gonna be out there too, right? Yep. Yeah, Friday I, night, Saturday day. I w- I will not be there because. Uh, I, I can't risk going back to the hospital. <laughs> I don't want to do it. Um, but Understandable. if you guys see boy, boy and Josh while you're out there, mm-hmm. then give them a, a warm hello for me, dude. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe, maybe there'll be a dinner or something. I don't know if there's enough people. We can set something up. Ooh. Let us know. See, um, you know, it's, it's kind of getting normal ish you know like all the cons and all the festivals yeah, are like yeah. starting up again so that's like half the reason i want to go yeah it's been a while um you know like the concerts and stuff uh are happening again so i'm I'm going to every every chance i get mm-hmm. this Dude, is like I, ax hasn't okay. really announced anything i'm super interested in mm-hmm. yeah, to go there's like a the trash tasting that teddy lloyd is playing but i think the tickets for that are sold out yeah. but sag yeah. i think it the is. first big public event i i am uh gonna be easing back into is gonna be the scandal show right that's like the end of july right the 22nd mm. um, or is the end of the month yeah, yeah, I was, I was actually kind of like scared to do that one too, but like, I think I should be like okayish by then. 
like uh, I'm still working with my, my my cardiologist and just making sure like my heart and everything is gonna be okay. So we'll see. Mm-hmm. But I think, especially yeah, as as I keep easing off medication and stuff like that, I think things should be good. I uh, think I think I'm starting to stop balding, which is which is good. Hey. Yeah, because uh, I I went off one more medication this last week, and so uh, I noticed that like you know mm-hmm. like. I think the scary part was like I would run my hands through my hair when I shower, and it'll be like a shit it's ton of like, hair in my hand. I'm like, mm. <sighs> and like and, you know, and like you know, there's always supposed to be hair, right? Like you, your hair is always falling out and growing back, and that's normal. So I was like, oh, is it just me? Or like I don't know, man. This kind of feels like a lot. But then as I've been like getting healthier again, when I wash my hair, I'm like, okay, no, yeah, this is like a normal amount of hair that should be coming out, not like like clumps of strands you know well that's in, good in the, to hear yeah in the meantime though your boys uh gonna keep covering up <laughs> <laughs> it's okay you're just going with the style of today's that's podcast. cool dude at least yours is uh you know caused by medication and not genetics oof true true yeah i was really lucky about that i, I was just like I don't know. I, I do feel like kind of bad because I think I did just waste like hundred and fifty dollars just panic buying the the hymns, fucking like medication. Wait, was it at work? <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, yeah, it's working, but is it working or is it the fact that I'm going off my medications that was causing my balding? Mm. You know what I mean? Like, chances are I could have just waited it out and maybe it would. I mean, either way, whatever. Like, my hair's growing back, and that's what matters, right? So I'm like, that's what I'm telling myself. If I if I wasted one hundred fifty dollars, either way, I got the result that I wanted, and that's what matters. But I'm just like, maybe I didn't have to spend it. But anyways, that's a. What if that's you just no- keep on using it? What if you get more hair than you did before? Uh, you sure, I, I guess. <laughs> or, or you know what? I'll, I'm gonna start putting that shit on my face, dude. Hopefully, I can grow a beard for once, dude. <laughs> anyways, uh, shall we get? Shall we get into the episode? Let's. All right, dude. We're we're coming we're coming back with the. Shilling corner. No, I'm just kidding. No, no, no shilling corner. But Hinata Zaka is coming out with a new CM, dude. Uh, we got we got a collaboration with Cupstar. This one featuring Double Sasaki, dude. We got uh, Kumi Ooh. and Me Bread, dude. Uh, eating some some Cupstar cup noodles, dude. While they're going out camping, dude. Mm-hmm. Ooh. How fun. Mm-hmm. I actually just went camping and I was like, dude, I why didn't why didn't I buy any cup noodles? Like I legitimately thought that. I was supposed to buy the uh the carbonara, like Korean fucking noodles that the chat recommended in my, my personal stream once. Actually it looks good, but I just completely like goofed and forgot to buy it. But Pretty you know, good. yeah, maybe maybe we'll gotta try maybe uh maybe we need a slow plug camping trip, dude. No, that's Boy not wouldn't have it. <laughs> go to that. <laughs> Which be, it would just no. be me and Jimmy. <laughs> what 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 if we glamped? Would you glamp? Eh, I'll think about it. He would do like a, he would do like a cottage, right? I'll, I'll, I'd go hiking, but I, I don't. Uh, I, but you I don't want to like camping. sleep outside and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. You 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 do get like just completely jacked up by bugs, but mm. um. Yeah, dude. Uh, Hinata Zaka is still doing their uh, what is it? Present campaign with Cupstar. I think we we talked about it a while back when uh, you know, you you, you uh submit your your proof of purchases and you get a chance to win the uh, the the oh, Sama, like, this Cupstar thing is still thing. going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, right? I feel like we talked about it a long time ago. Yeah, we talked about it back in April, so it ends the end of this month, so the the thirtieth. Okay. So you got like a little that bit over a week long. left to uh, to do it. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they're probably already out by now, dude. There's only like a, a fucking thousand of them or some shit, right? Yeah. There's All right. Left. But uh, your uh, yeah. little receipts, everyone. We all get like a hat. We can, it's not like we can get a hat, uh, un- unless you're one of those people in our Discord that were up to some shady activities, dude. Oh what? Oh, now I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I was like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> chat, quiet. Shh, shh, chat. Don't tell him about that. <laughs> um. Anyways, 
Uh, let's, let's keep moving. We got um, some special posters for Bemiho in honor of her uh, graduating. So um, these are going to be available at her graduation event. Um, mm -hmm. I think I think how it works is that if you if you purchase any of like the the CDs or Blu-rays or albums, you get like a, a poster. And there's seven different ones that you know. It's like all the the Super Bemiho poster. photos from Hashi Hashiridasu all the way up to Teka. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Um, so uh, Nogizaka was doing this. I don't know if like you were able to get those like individual posters, but I remember seeing a Mayan one for influencer on mm. eBay for like one twenty or something like that. I think I think you usually get these at. A hand or you used to get them at handshake events and you would like enter a raffle and get a random member and people would trade members afterwards mm. yeah so these are going to be just all bemiho um but you don't get to pick which one you get so it's not like if you buy like a, a hashiri dasu you get the hashiri dasu bemiho right it's just it's just whatever the staff Classic. gives you yeah mm -hmm. but um yeah so i guess if you purchase a single cd you get a one one copy if you get an album you get two and then if you get a blu-ray slash dvd you get two so it's just gonna be Imagine random. getting the album okay cool i got this one oh, i got the copies oh and i got double oh <laughs> no dude got the same just, thing you just get just two hashiri dasu bimios, dude. on the teka poster like ugh. <laughs> it's like coming out just grabbing the thing oh, why oh, is that okay. there <laughs> I, I wish what I could tell that? you, dude. Just, just <laughs> the the uh, one with the leaves behind. Which one is that? That's third uh, single. Or... Is that third single? Shit, I like that one the most. Yeah, yeah. Though yeah. I can't like see like what the rest of the, it. Yeah, yeah. With the one where the she's blue wearing the polo. blue outfit, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm. And then yeah, the green, yeah. This one, I... nice greenery behind her. That's cool. They should, yeah. Why did they have to stack it like I want to see the, like the whole poster, the, man. The whole thing, yeah, right. true. Like you can barely see the Qun one. Um, like oh, you've seen these before. Yeah, yeah, and they're like, you know which one these are. It's like sure, but I, I still want to know. Refresh me if I'm getting this. Mm -hmm. You know. But uh, yeah. Uh, you, you'll also be able to uh, pre-order a copy of the Blu-ray of the concert itself at the event, I believe. So that's cool. You know, that okay. means that there's definitely going to be a Bemiho grad concert Blu-ray coming out. Hmm. That's, that's cool. Is she... Mm -hmm. Someone refreshed my memory. Is she the first Hinatazaka member to get a graduation concert? Yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah, I feel so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, chat saying yeah, and yeah, you, know, okay. you know they're they're gonna know more about Hinata Zaka yeah, yeah, than yeah. we do. <laughs> That's um, what I thought because I was like the other two members left and didn't get anything. Um, yeah, they just left. Yeah, yeah. So uh, moving moving right along, we've got some uh, Hinata Zaka and Sakura Zaka news. So you know what that means. We've got some more double Kiaki Fest news. Um, general public sales are now available for uh, tickets for the event. Uh, these are the advanced sales through Lawson's, right? So you have to have your, mm. your Lawson online account and shit to do it. Uh, so this is coming after last week. They opened up sales for a uh, fan club, right? Um, so they, they are asking if you already got like a like, you know, a July 21st ticket through the fan club that you don't try to get more tickets for that through through the general advanced mm. thing or whatever. So, um, yeah, yeah, I'm not fair, sure. Fair. Yeah, I'm not sure when it's supposed to be uh, just normal sales, but this is still technically advanced sales. But, you know, it's the advanced sales that's technically available to everybody. But is it really, though? Okay, yeah. Is it really to Hopefully, everybody? Uh... Can I buy a ticket and go i don't think so dude. <laughs> mm. who knows got him hope <clears throat> hopefully endo sensei can get his ticket <laughs> oh please yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh. okay uh, i can't see anya crying again, <laughs> <laughs> yeah 
<laughs> Couldn't get his double kick tickets. Mm. This time, though. This time. Yeah, Let's go. Yeah, dude. This is this I feel is like your they, they should get him a special seat. <laughs> right, dude. All, yeah. all, all the the little like Hinata Zaka references in in the manga and show and shit like that. I'm like, come on, dude. Just hook a brother up, dude. Right. <laughs> Maybe like you know like I want to be a true fan. Mm, he doesn't want to use his fame. These. Oh. Yeah, Damn, yeah. I, I like how we're making this up. True fan, like, true fan, true fan, true dude. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's how they be, though, yeah. right? Like, are, like the story that stick out the most to me in my mind is like, uh, uh, what is it? The one, the homie from uh, when we went to go see Musubism at uh, the OC yeah. Japan fair. Like this guy was such, a, like a, a fucking to dude. Like you know, he like flew out to San Francisco to see them one weekend, flew back to Japan. Right, because he had work, and then that following weekend flew back to L.A. to Came see back. them in, uh, in Orange County, right? Because they just stayed in, in California that whole week or whatever. But he went back and forth, dude. And then so naturally, he you know they recognize him because he's like one of their big fans, like you know loyal fans in Japan and shit like that. They're like, oh shit, it's you, dude. And then you know we he was hanging out with us and we like egged him on and shit like that, dude. We're like, oh yeah, dude, go take a picture with him. You go get in the middle, dude. You like. You paid thousands of dollars for them, dude. Come on, man. Uh-huh. Come on, man. He's like, no, I must not, dude. I must preserve the sanctity of ladies, dude. Mm. But then, but then we failed him, and we we made him do it anyways, and he got in trouble with the fans. <laughs> <laughs> His fellow Wota was like, "What? Yeah, yeah. Why is he all yeah, up right. in their business? This is America. Ah, <laughs> why is he in the middle, dude? Why is he making it about himself? You know." So maybe maybe that's what yeah Endo Sensei is like dude is like I must earn my way mm. into double keiki fest like everybody else has. Mm. I, I I shan't leverage my my industry connections, dude. Sensei, dude. Because I feel like if he if he wanted to, he totally could, right? It's like you. He's not just writing yeah. like any. He's not just the manga of any manga, dude. It's like the manga it manga anime right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. All right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Good luck, uh, to anybody in Japan who uh didn't get in during the the fan club advance tickets that are trying to, you know, get their double Kiaki Fest tickets now. Uh, good luck to Endo Sensei. We wish you the best. Um. Also, good luck to Moria Rena for her Whoa. new photo book coming out. Hey, let's oh. go. Uh, she's already got all the socials for that, dude. Rena. Choco underscore first. Yeah, if you so, watched uh, the Soko Saku, you wouldn't know she likes yeah, chocolate. Yeah, dude. She's all about that chocolate, dude. You know, she wow, gave a whole goddamn, presentation when they about do that, the dude. when they do the stupid like nine picture grid on Instagram, it's always all <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> yeah, it just like, oh. <laughs> spreads out the face. <sighs> God damn it. <laughs> Cause they don't account for the like negative the white space, man. Come on, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 on yeah, different gotta, devices, in different spaces, right? You gotta, you gotta cut stupid. that, dude. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it's for like mobile. The, Let me the check Instagram. Out, but I think on mobile, it's all together. Yeah, dude. Let like me, her eyes check. are all shifted on mine and shit, dude. Oh no. Mm-hmm. What have they done to you, uh, Rena, dude? It's okay though. We so can just cold. see the the normal picture on uh on Twitter. It's fine. <laughs> Can I, can, I, can I just say oh, this? It looks dude? perfect okay. on mobile, though. Oh, oh does it? Is. Okay. It's like okay, it, there's not as much space mm. on the uh, nah, whatever. It's not there's not as much space as, as there is on on a browser. Yeah. yeah. So, it, uh, I'm I'm very pleased for this news. You know, I think Rena yeah. is like I mean all all the members are really pretty, but I I don't know she she definitely stuck out to me when she joined the group, and uh, yeah. I I will say that maybe maybe not to the, like the level of like someone like Kaki Haruka, but she is also blessed with very strong teeth genetics, dude. Mm. Yeah, she you need very, the dental. She already had it. Yeah, dude. She has that strong, strong smile, dude. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, looking looking forward to this. Uh, there's no news about when. Uh, any any covers or titles yet but uh they have announced a release date it's going to be august 23rd um and you can already pre-order it on via amazon rakuten hmv and suthaya 
Uh, make sure you use, uh, if you're using Amazon, you use that Slope affiliate link, please. Oh, please look at in chat, Jimmy. I haven't made it yet. It'll it'll be oh, linked. Oh, it'll hello. be linked. I thought you, you said like you made it already. <laughs> no, it'll, it it will be linked in the the YouTube description, dude. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, for people who are wondering, we did have somebody in chat ask. It was actually shot by uh, Kyosuke Azuma, right? That the the same person that did uh, Ume's first and Mai Chun's photo book. Um, the second one. Oh, the okay. second photo book. Yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely really like this. Everything's very soft, very very elegante yeah. looking. You know. Likes the blues, like the cooler mm. colors, which I like too. Oh, okay. is, that, is this Fuji Cannon, dude? Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. 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 It's a little wider, wider aperture, but I feel like he uses like some sharp lenses with the cooler temperature. So, like, it, it looks, it has a certain aesthetic for sure. Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah, like the parts that are in focus is like super sharp, but then everything else kind of have like a softness, kind of mm -hmm. almost mm -hmm. fuzziness to it, right? Yeah, it's very aesthetic. <laughs> I like how, the, like in the Instagram, there's like a shot of his Mercedes. Like hell mm. yeah, <laughs> this <laughs> one's for car. me, brother. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's probably for an ad, but it's like it's funny because it's like all like models, like people yeah, yeah, portraits, and then, this... and then bam, his car or something. Mercedes Benz. <laughs> My Japan, Benz, dude. dude. Oh, <laughs> deserves to be up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, I definitely, you know, based off of the, the Sakamichi books he's done, like, because he's done, you know, he's done other photo books, but I think we can get a safe estimate based on, like, Ume's and uh, My Chunes. You know, I, I really liked both of those books, so. We shall see. If it looks we like, shall see. Uh, if, like the colors and tones, like anything like his Instagram feed, then I think the photo book is going to be good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it, I think it suits uh, Rena very well, right? Yeah, that's uh, that's not that's not all we have for for photo book news, dude. Oh, there's um, more photo books. Oh, yeah. let's go. Not not new photo books, but just photo book news. My girl Kaki Haruka, popping off, dude. Fourteen point six men, dude. Copies in the first week sold. Uh, that's 146,000 copies uh, sold in the first week. Um, so she is the highest selling uh, solo photo book. Uh, second only to, hey, guess what? Her senpai, Ikuta Erika, with intermission, having 179,000 uh, copies uh, sold in the first week. Just week sales. Pretty good. Yeah, this is just pretty purely good. first week sales. I think the highest overall, like... Solo photo book still belongs to Shirai Shimai, dude. That she was yeah. like <laughs> <The> queen, <laughs> four hundred thousand something, I think overall, dude. Like something nutty like that, dude. Mm. Um, if I wasn't hosting this call, I would Google how many, I was just like what what country that. the population of that is. But you'll just have to fill in the blanks yourself, dude. It's a lot. Yeah. That is a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So Did anyone All right. expect that she would be this highly sold? I didn't. I'm going to be honest. I kept hearing about like reprints. I'm like, oh no, dude, they're going to make too many. Dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was like, oh no, they're, they're, they're over, they're over hyping this dude. Oh no, abort. And I was just like, oh shit. Okay. All right. Can't nice. say I, I expected this either, but like, then again, I don't have a gauge of uh, mm -hmm. how popular she is. Right. And like just photo books in general since I, like, don't buy that shit no more. So, like, I don't know. Like, I haven't been keeping up with any of the numbers. But, like, if you look at the pre-order numbers or whatever, that like, there's news of that coming out, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then, like, yeah, I guess it would have gotten to this amount eventually. I just, uh... Just That's basically, because, cool. like, I, I feel like cool. Kaki is, like... Woda popular, but I didn't know she was like general, like public popular, right? Yeah, especially since she's a newer member. Ah, I thought it would take a little bit longer for her to like. Right. Yeah. Exactly. That's what I thought. Popularity. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. but I mean, I'm very happy to see this. Of course, right? Um, does it mean that uh, it's gonna like you know affect anything 
for uh, the future of the group. I, I I doubt it, dude. I doubt management really cares about like, oh, dude, she sold this much. Make her sadder. Make her sadder. You know, <laughs> like. But it is. I think it's just more uh, a good sign for for her as far as far as like mm -hmm. proving uh, her marketability, right? Yeah, and probably get more outside gigs, probably. Mm -hmm. We'll, we'll just have to see, man. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think for Rena's case, like, you know, her being on TV a lot helped. Yeah, I love it and stuff, right? Mm, that's true. Sakura's like, you want this cute member on your show? And everyone's like, yes. Let's go, dude. Give us Rena, dude. <laughs> and, like, if you, like, watch Love It on and off, she's, like, on it. Not like a lot but like she she'll be on segments and stuff they'll like call her back mm -hmm. for segments and stuff like that forever a uh, love it family member yeah or one of one of the homies right mm -hmm. yeah she's one of the homies you can just call her up if you need her now i just need a photo now i just need a habu photo book it's only a matter of time I mean, Dude, I, happen, right? I got I got my new photo you. book coming out, Kaki's book, obviously. I just need the Habu book to complete the, the the Triforce, dude. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. All all five pieces of the puzzle. <laughs> summon <laughs> summon Exodia, dude. <laughs> Anyways, oh yeah, that too. <laughs> oh, don't forget Chat to change our Giga little Ikemen thingy Habu on photo the book. bottom, dude. Oh, true, true. Yeah, that would be best for me. I mean, I always want a photo book that's more uh, fashion editorial style, but that never happens. Mm -hmm. True. It had to be like a, like a Shashin shoe, I don't think would get that treatment. Maybe like a photo book would. Like a photo book, yeah. Yeah, a photo book. But... Or, yeah, the only time we got in Shashin shoe was when it was like specifically. What we keep referring back to with this, right? Like the, uh, what is it? The the Mikanse book, the the Keakizaka one. Yeah. Right? It was specifically because they were trying to do different styles and stuff yeah. like that. So it's like, the shots were so good. <laughs> you know? They were, dude. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. More of that, please. All right. What What is... If you, if you could produce any photo book right now, which 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 member would it be, and what's the concept? I mean, I feel I like the easy one is the Habu editorial one, but yeah, it's something different. Mm -hmm. Which fair, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I something think... besides that, yeah. I guess since Ume is my only Oshi, it's it's Ume in a, a very luxurious like traveling scenario like like around europe or some shit like that you know the the like italian riviera yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah, hella yeah. bougie shit like she's in a mm -hmm. she's in like a like ferrari you yeah, know? yeah yeah yeah, like yeah that kind of shit oh, like hella bougie guy second photo book where she actually slums it in paris <laughs> <laughs> It's like you'll see you'll see Sue Guy like in the actual slums, and then in the far distance in the background you see like Ume in a Ferrari, just to just to show <laughs> yeah. you that that class dichotomy, dude. Oh, look at the social <laughs> the hierarchy. spiteful dude. look from Sue Guy. <laughs> God damn the rich, dude. You know? They take oh, everything. The bourgeois taking everything from the, the the working class, dude. God damn it. Yeah, dude. Um. Okay, I, I mentioned last week. I think uh, I like the the O sushi, like you know, American Apparel lookbook shit. You know what I mean? But if I was somebody not that, not that. I mean, obviously that's my first pick besides the Habu editorial. I'd want like, and and I sound I I I know it sounds like I'm I'm pandering, but bear with me here. Uh, Moo photo book, but it's like full like like but like it's like really saturated colors lolita type outfits bunch of like candy everywhere like i want that shit like it needs to be like the heavy rotation music video but no lingerie you know what i mean it's that japanese um fashion magazine fruits or some shit like that yeah like, yeah 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 exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. the look 
with like yeah, all the exactly. bracelets. Mm. You know, it like, was kind of there like, in the in the Kiaki like one. Like Fuachan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She kind of had like the like Lolita like style, like, right? Light, lighter feeling mm-hmm. kind of stuff. Yeah. Really, like, give me like really punchy colors, super saturated, dude. Dude, this is this like chat's like yelling or not chat like it's literally one person in chat but like i'm getting yelled one at guy. but it's like it's it, this is like a concept i've had in my head for a while actually like not just for move but i actually wanted to shoot this uh when i was like before i got sick because uh, i have some friends in like the lolita scene and i i had like this whole idea for a, a photo shoot where i would like get like a studio do a bunch of like very like extreme contrasty editorial type photography contrasted with like these very saturated bright colorful lolita outfits and shit you know what i mean but that yeah i, I like I, i'd like to see something conceptual you know i think i think we all yeah. would right is we're we're like obviously we're we're fucking idol nerds but we also like give us some interesting photos man you know <laughs> like put mu in some uh early 2000s harajuku fashion Dude, yeah, That's man. What What's that wants. book that they used to put out that like they stopped doing because like nobody dresses weird in Harajuku anymore, dude. Roots, there right? Was, or it was a magazine. Was it? I don't know if it was a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Anyways, uh, that's uh, that's your your weekly idol uh, photo book conversation corner of this little podcast. Let's keep moving on. We got more Nogizaka news. Hey, dude, our girl Sato Rika, dude, Fourth Gen Rise Up, uh, is going to be appearing in uh, uh, the Ona no Yujo Tokiniku, the musical, dude. Uh, what is it? Female Relationships or Friendship and Muscle, the musical. Um, yeah, I was super intrigued <laughs> by this when. Uh, Cross dressing, okay. dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's a. Uh, like the main actors are gonna be dudes right here i think there's the website right oh here. yeah yeah um, because like if you've, if you've seen like the manga it's like some buff ass dudes or not dudes I'm sorry uh oh, it's like okay. buff ass women right that like kind of look aesthetically like they, they get drawn kind of very masculine but uh oh so like cool, the actual know? characters are These women forms. but like these dudes yeah i think the actual characters them. are women but yeah they're being played by by dudes um, but I think it's just, yeah, it's more to, like, fit the uh, the aesthetic. Um, I guess it's, like, the idea is that it's, like, uh, you know, these three women who uh, are just, like, normal women and they're, like, very nice people. But they, you know, they, they have to deal with, like, you know, society and the preconceptions of them because they're, like, very muscular women and stuff like that. And they're, like, you know, they're, they're, they're unbreaking circle of friendship that, that comes with, right? <laughs> if you um, go to the... Uh musical website it shows like the first three volumes and, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, the exactly. first oh, yeah. Well, she has like the goal go 13 I yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, yeah yeah so uh i think it's uh it's based off of like a like the comic itself is like a yon uh yonkoma right so it's like one of those little strips where it's like mm-hmm. just little short stories and stuff like Four that mm-hmm. uh-huh um but yeah uh Sato Rika is not playing one of the jacked females. Oh, Unfortunately, she did. Ah, she did not. I she see. did not jump on the sauce and get juiced up for <laughs> for for this musical. That's for uh, this role. She, okay. Yeah, she's playing an original character, so I, I think it's like a character they made specifically for the musical, uh, which is going to ah, be okay. uh, what is it? The uh, the receptionist, the troubled receptionist of the the gym that the the three main characters frequent. Mm, okay. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, well, she's like right after the first lineup, so it seems like she's a recurring character. Yeah, yeah. I think she is like one of the. She's just not one of the three main characters, but she is mm-hmm. like I think uh, uh, an, an integral character to the this story, anyways. Um, yeah. Uh, so okay. they're gonna, you know, they've already have a, a couple of performance lined up in Tokyo as well as in uh, Osaka. The the Tokyo performances are going to be at the Shinagawa Prince Hotel Stellar Ball. From September 16th through uh, September 25th, and then at Osaka Cool Japan Park Osaka TT Hall from October 1st to October 2nd. Um, it's like nine, like 9,500 yen for a ticket. A little pricey, dude, but 
Yeah, it's uh, worth it's it for the, these these jacked ladies, dude. And <laughs> yeah, I, I was like, I was so confused, like not confused, like very intrigued from uh, the 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 premise, right? Like or from the title that I like. I was like trying to find the manga and stuff like that. And I just <laughs> didn't really like. I did find like, I did find an anime news network article, you know. So uh, what is it? Ona no Yujo Tokiniku is an unusual ongoing manga about a group of three muscular athletic women and their struggles with love and their body proportions. They may be strong, but they are also kind and constantly doing their best to help other people. The manga is serialized on Sai Zensen's uh, Tsui 4 website, and so far, four manga volumes have been uh, published as well. It is the debut work of the author Kana and not yet available in English. So... Looks fun, dude. If I, if I could actually find this, uh, even if it's in Japanese, I'd probably give it a read. Yeah. And I, yeah. I think it would just depend on what angle they approach the problems they have. And see if, like, if it's problematic or if it's like, oh, okay, it's relatable. Yeah, 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 of course. But Because, I mean, I hope it's, like, yeah, from the perspective of, like, you know, like, they're, they're just women like anybody else, mm-hmm. dude. You know? Mm-hmm. They just want to be treated like such, mm-hmm. but... Mm-hmm. society you know that's 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 what i'm guessing that's what i'm gathering from what i've read so far but obviously i haven't read it because um, that do be happening dude I, I actually just made a tweet about this the other day dude it's like i like you know i, I like fall i follow a lot of like female power lifters and stuff like that and like I, you know you you think we live in a modern society where people are like hell yeah you do you dude if you want to get jack get jack dude but there's always like the comment like from some some fuckhead right like oh you need to stop you looking like a fucking man and shit like that you know and like you mm-hmm. go you go to that person you know obviously it's me I can't just leave it alone right I have to get all like I have to get baited and, you know I go check out that person's IG and I'm like dude you Is are an anime profile picture it's that or it's like the <laughs> most like like do you even lift bro kind of dude right. And it's like, okay, wow. like, not everybody has to lift, but clearly you're projecting your insecurities, right? Because it's like, mm-hmm. if your standards of, of men is muscular, why why are you not living up to that then, dude? And so, obviously, you you feel some type of way about that, and that's why you're, like, taking it out on, on women who lift and shit, you know? But, um, uh, yeah, it's, it's tangent, but, like, maybe, you know, I, I feel like maybe they're going with that kind of aspect in this, dude. Could be wrong. We'll, we'll have to see. Uh, but either way, hope uh, hope Sato Rika gets some nice exposure from this dude. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Get that work. Yeah, but that's not the only yeah. new uh, stage production. Uh, Kubo Shiori oh. is going to be starring in a stage production of Sakuramon, dude. Uh, we already have like a promotional image of Kubo as well from that. Uh, she looks good, dude. She's playing uh, the Oiran, dude. So it's like the the top the most like beautiful yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, the top Yujo, right? Um so the 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 whole premise is like the story I guess is that, you know, she she is like this most the most famous Oiran with bewitching looks and everybody falls for her and then one day mm-hmm. she like chance encounters Yutaro who was like her like childhood friend like they were like peas Always two peas in a pod friend. and stuff like that you know when they were from her, her her childhood time and shit like that you know and it's just like oh dude that sets the gears of the story Ooh. into motion was what the the, the there article we said. go yeah uh dude kubo looks super good i think they they like picked like the perfect member to play that right because kubo definitely has that like very like classic look demure look mm. you know i think Especially from like, I think the story set in the Meiji period. I feel like that was like mm-hmm. the 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 look that was aspired and desired. You know, um, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That that show begins September fifth, and uh, you can see it at Paruko Theater in Tokyo, dude. Paruko, 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 Paruko. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm like actually very intrigued by this I, I i'm very sad that we can't watch this as filthy fucking americans dude you know just let us sad in. times yeah let, let us in japan <laughs> <The fucking laughs> eric andre meme dude right 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't care. All right. Moving on to the last bit of Nogizaka news. Uh, the the ticket sales for the Manatsu no Zenkoku tour for 2022 have officially begun. Oh, no, here we uh, go. Yeah, dude. Summer party with Nogizaka 46. Um, so, so far, they're only uh, having advanced sales for uh, six locations. The six venues outside of the Tokyo Meiji Jingu uh, venue will have uh, tickets available right now for advanced sales. So I guess they're they're saving that one for later. I guess you know because that's the that's that's the big show. That's the one that mm-hmm. you know everyone looks forward to. Um, aside from that, they do have a, a you know some some members that won't be in attendance for the show due to various reasons. Obviously, uh, Renachi be like finals obviously. or some shit for yeah yeah. Kitagawa Renachi Yuri. won't be participating because uh, she's graduating and yeah, Kitagawa Yuri, dude, she's on that boy grind dude oh boy's doing homework so week, is yeah. she dude uh-huh. finals so, uh, week everyone yeah yeah so she's actually missing the can't first be out here rehearsing and shit come on the tour yeah exactly so she's not going to be at the osaka and hiroshima uh event or yeah concerts and then ito Riria will be absent from the miyagi show due to scheduling and then Matsuo Miyu, I think she already had something scheduled and might miss the Hiroshima and Fukuoka dates, but I think they're like still trying to work those out at the moment. But yeah, my mom dude. said maybe. I want to try to convince her, you know. <laughs> <laughs> said no. Uh, I I kind of got like this, uh, you know, nationwide tour. I have to go on, dude. Don't know if I can what? make. You have it, to dude. leave Tokyo? No, you can't. <laughs> what? <laughs> Can you be back by curfew? Don't think so, <laughs> dude. I. It's so weird because, like, obviously, it's like probably some, you know, it's work related. I'm guessing, and it's like probably been planned for a while. But I just can't imagine something taking precedent over your group's nationwide tour. You know what I mean? Like, the Mia one is probably like one of her plays or some shit, right? She's always yeah, in some exactly. kind of stage mm. production. Mm-hmm. Uh, and those only like have a limited run, yeah. like two weekends type of thing. Mm-hmm. 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 But like you know, practice for like months. It's like Jingo's the Sorry, important have my one. So score. you guys have to do it yourselves. I mean, like, would you would you guys as be long mad as everyone's about... at Jingo? So <laughs> that's cool, yeah, 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 yeah. I was gonna say, would you guys be mad if like you know I was like, hey guys, uh, I I can't do the podcast this week. I'm not sure if you guys remember this, but I'm technically Nogizaka fourth gen, and uh, I need I need to get to Japan for that 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 Manatsu no Zenkoku tour, dude. So I, I might I might miss I might miss a couple episodes. No, you like, gotta oh, work that out in your schedule, dude. <laughs> better better start your camera <laughs> up wherever you want. <laughs> if I call it in from wherever you're I'll gonna be. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Slow Podcast. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Oh, I actually like the, the Amazon one. <laughs> Ooh, make sure definitely use the affiliate link for the uh, Renachi photo book. Yeah. <laughs> Kinkake. <laughs> oh, hold on. I gotta modulate. Hold on. <laughs> it's time for the key change, dude. Hold on. But uh, yeah, that that is it for uh, the Nogizaka news and. Uh, that means that's it for the news this week. A. Hey. So lots of different topics, but uh, yeah, it's just kind of very succinct. But uh, we're going to take a quick break, and we're going to be right back with the TV show highlights. And we're back. A. Hey. It's time for the TV show highlights, the part of the show where we go back to the previous episodes. Uh, the the group has, has been, of course, we, co- we cover the regular shows, Hinata Zaka de Aima Show. And then Sokoma got there, Sakura Zaka, and Nogi Zaka, Koji Chu. Uh, and of course, if there's any other shows that we, we watch, we talk about that too. Uh, this this week's uh, Hinata Zaka, the Aima show, we have the... Oh, thank uh, you, Dave. Oh, thank you, Dave, for the sub. Uh, this week's episode of Hinata Zaka, the Aima show, we have uh, the... Uh, what is it? The, the, the music video commentary episode, you know, where they... Uh, 
go through uh, this week. It's uh, the Hiko uh, Kumo Ga Dekiru Ryu uh, music video. And they, they give their like little insights, dude. Like, oh, dude, look at Nibu being all fucking weird at this part and shit like that, right? Um, Hinata Zaka. And uh, then Soko Saku is, uh, is basically the... Uh, Oh shit! Uh, the uh, Inoue Rina revenge episode, dude. She got. She's like, dude. All these people clowned me for like not guessing orange juice right and shit like that. I'm gonna call all of them out, dude. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm gonna call them out, dude. Tell them, show them what's up. And then, uh, oh, dude, I just realized I'm. <laughs> I'm so sad. I'm not showing anything. I was clicking through <laughs> for no reason. It's okay. We'll we'll talk about like. You can show it when we'll we talk, talk about, about it. About it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll talk, Other we'll talk yeah, about yeah. it. Okay. And then uh, Nogizaka is a return of the uh, Tokyo Imeji bus tour. Too so electric. Okay. Um, which which yeah, uh, one? <laughs> which one was Hikoki Gumo Dekiru Ryu? I didn't watch this one. Obviously, it was the one like, you guys watched. Like I uh, watched the this show. Anyway. You guys watched when I wasn't there. It's like the one where they're like. In the uh, let me pull oh, let me pull up the episode so I can <laughs> oh. share it. <laughs> um, but it's a uh, it's like the episode where I don't know, it's like the other all member song where they like have like the little house and they the like house one where yeah, retro yeah, elf. Oh, okay, 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 yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Gotcha. They, uh, yeah. What is it? Everyone kind of looks all yeah vintagey. Kosaka now is taking photos and shit like that. Like okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's the Bemiho one, I guess. It's the Sag one, yeah, dude. Sag. Where they like throw a party for her, or whatever. Mm. Switch back to us. It's too long. Okay. Oh yeah, oh, dude. No. Copyright strike. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get Sony Music again, dude. Uh, okay. Now yeah. I remember. Mm. My highlight is actually from this episode. Oh, what was it was your when highlight? they call out the editors for their continuity. <laughs> How you gonna do them like that, man? Yeah, dude. Which... It, it was like, oh look, if you, if you see, they're, they're they're trying to say goodbye, but then, you know, she's putting up the D with the bye, and it doesn't belong there. She's like, oh yeah, it's because you know someone else had the B, but then like they're watching the music video, and then, like every cut, it's either her holding the B or her holding the D, and then they like call it out. <laughs> I'm just here like. The editor probably knew they, that's all the footage they had. The plight of the editor, dude. Yeah, yeah you, you're, like, we're selling like the story, bro. And stuff, dude. Yeah. Yeah. If you watch a lot of uh, Scorsese movies, they do that a lot to serve like a more effective scene. Mm -hmm. So you can like notice like the character's arms were like this, but then it would cut and like you know the arms would be somewhere else. But then you get a reaction that's like more, uh, you know, it's better for the scene kind of thing. Like I like go straight to it because it's so different. So. Instead of like cutting away. But mm. uh, I don't. I don't watch Hinai. So I, I got. I got no comments. Oh, Hinai boy. was like the second best one. Uh, yeah, well, but, I mean, that's that's like a low bar, though, because the, the, the Tokyo Imeji bus tour for Hinata Zaka, or for Nogizaka, kind of not my favorite episodes, to be honest, dude. If you're going to yeah, do a location they, shoot, just do a location shoot. We don't need this. They just kind of recap uh, stuff. I don't know. I guess if you're interested in how they view Tokyo as a yeah. country like, bumpkin. I'd rather run a, a whole episode dedicated to, like, one one of these people and then just like do stuff rather than like take like, the pictures Woo, we took pictures mm -hmm. yeah they well, kind of just my... went around tokyo yeah i think like my biggest thing was just like i you know I'm, I'm a filthy american dude i haven't been to tokyo i can't i have no frame of reference for anything that they're saying dude because you know maybe i'm sure like they're like you know oh this 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 place is scary and shit like that because of x y z reason if I actually had a frame of reference, I could be like either like, "Oh, this girl's being silly, dude," ha ha ha, or like, "Oh no, it do be scary though," you know. But then yeah, I was like, "Yeah, true. person with no frame of reference." I'm just like, "I guess so," yeah. "I guess so," you know. Like like chat was watching with me. I was watching it on Monday on my stream, and they're just like like you know they're like talking about the the Shibuya scramble being stressful and shit like that. You know, Kubo was like, 
oh, that that's still freaky, dude. And then I was just like, I wouldn't know. And they're like, oh, it's not that bad. I'm like, oh, okay, they're just... Makes sense, dude. You know, Kubo's like a little nerd and shit, dude. Mm-hmm. But Been to Tokyo. Really big place. I guess that's... Yeah, it's it's yeah. kind of just there, the episode. Um, mm-hmm. I think Sokosaku was more interesting to me. Yeah, dude, Sokosaku uh, was my favorite episode this week, dude. Yeah. Just, uh... It's just, uh... Yeah. You know, we're calling out. We're like, you, you, you probably can't fucking tell, man. Making fun of me and shit. And then she ends Quick up being over there. She puts ten syrup packets in right, her coffee. Like, she doesn't yeah. know anything. The best Dude, part she is like, like she ends up. Off she ends week. up losing. Yeah, know, right? yeah, like, yeah. She doesn't beat anyone, and it's like, <laughs> I like how she calls out Karin. Like, all right, the last person you think you have nothing to do with this. Fujiyoshi and she's like what yeah, yeah Fujiyoshi's like yo, yo what dude <laughs> like she perfectly yo. fit that description of like this next person probably sitting today right. thinking like oh this week's episode has nothing to do with me dude <laughs> and it was yeah dude that was exactly like the, the reaction she gave dude I think just that first half alone could have been like an episode and then like it could have it been done there I would have been happy the like the end shootout thing where they have to guess like six different or whatever foods. Yeah, and she was yeah, like yeah. getting all of them wrong. That was, that there should have been good. like wa- a water sip in between each of them. No, that, yeah, that there, was the there point was no it, like. Though. Yeah, that's like, like that was the challenge. Just, so like, they didn't what have a chance to little... cleanse their palate, dude. <laughs> like when you yeah. get something sweet and then the like, next thing you eat is something like salty, you just like, like get a weird mix of both of them. One of them got it wrong because of that, right? mm Hmm. We should try that. <laughs> How do we try that? You have to get so much oh. food. Yeah, we we, we get would. Six items. Like we six would need uh, we would need one of the other boys to be producer for that episode uh, oh, for yeah. that video. Then you know. Yeah, they had to feed us. Mm-hmm. Well, it was yeah, pretty enjoyable. Uh, yeah. I like how it's like when it's like a weird texture. You just chew uh, it. You're like, oh, what's up my mouth? I mean, like, the best yeah, is uh, that, that having the, the weird eye masks, dude. You know. Oh, Actually, yeah. their their faces and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is pretty enjoyable watch. Yeah, with the oh my. Oh yeah, yeah. dude. Uh, I think I think Inoue made it like super entertaining. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's like mad like calling out the team was the funniest yeah. shit, dude. Because there was the history in, in it. Like, if if we didn't mm-hmm. know about that before, uh, like it would still be entertaining, but not as. Yeah, yeah. She's like, yo, I did that episode. Takemoto's entire family be making fun of me, dude. They they said that they <laughs> they recreated that shit and every single one of them did better than me. That's bullshit. I don't believe it. I'm calling also, her like, out. Are they, are they running with the AD Takemoto? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, like, gave her the, like, the, the headphones and stuff. Or the headset and, like, the tape the and shit. I episode where she actually became AD. Uh, it's like, the uh, I don't know. someone told her to go get it. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, like, it's it was one like of the, the presentation the episodes. Episode, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, uh, Takemoto-san, can you go get the table? And she's like, "Wait, what? What, what are you telling me to do it?" It was the it was uh, okay. what is it? Thank you, Chat. The Chat says it's Kira. Kira, yeah, the Kira present it's episode. The, yeah. And then so they they ran her name in the in the credits as an AD. <laughs> oh, okay. And then it happened again. Like an episode, like one of the next episodes. Yeah. And then now they're just like full on. It's just, that's just yeah. thing. Okay. AD and shit. So. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Sogo Saku was definitely the, I think, the episode for, for this week for sure. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yes. Any well, other one shows? Good thing about oh, is yeah. They actually go ahead. finished. Actually finished the music video. Not like oh, other times. first time in ever. Yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah. Other times yeah. it was like they got halfway through, but this time, all the way. Yeah, I, I mean that, learned, that's what they were or... memeing about at the beginning of the uh, episode mm-hmm. of Hina Ai, right? Was that like they only ever get like less than a, a fucking minute through the uh, the mm-hmm. episode because uh, what is it? It's just like they're constantly stopping it, you know. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I, that's why yeah. they let like a full minute and a half go by. <laughs> no, everyone was just looking at me. Dude, I, 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 when, I was, it. when I was watching, I was getting like anxiety, dude. I'm like, no one's <laughs> stopping it. Why aren't they stopping? Because <laughs> I was literally memeing before that. I was, I was just like, 
oh, I, hate, I fucking hate these, dude, because it's like, you can't listen to the song, dude. They, they, you just hear the same five seconds of the song over and over and over again, dude, because it keeps, stop! Mm-hmm. And then, you know, they'll go back a little bit to give you context, and then it's like, okay, three more seconds and stop! Go back a little bit, you know? Mm-hmm. But this <laughs> was... Just like, no one gonna do anything? We're, we're not just watching the music video? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, that was like the joke, right? Like, they were just like, like, uh... Was it Audrey was the one who stopped it? They're like, yo, we are just watching the music video at this point. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would say that if I had to rank the three shows this week, it would be Sokosaku, then Hina Ai, and then Nogichu. Oh. Yep. Uh, I watched the Ariyoshi E. Oh, how They're was that? playing Among Us. <laughs> oh, relevant to our interests, huh? Uh-huh. And, uh, playing? I only watched, like, the first quarter of it, but it's a uh, Yumiki in it for this episode. Hmm. And uh, first they went to they went to like a sweets shop, and then they went to like one of those little like places where you like load the little cork in the gun and you try to shoot the stuff down. And then they played Among Us. How do they play and... when they're all in the same studio? They just like play. The, the, the like so so they're in the same studio but they just like try not to talk if like they die so like the classic but like they, yeah. they're able to notice a little bit more when people die because like they just stop talking yeah i mean that that kind of like that's a big part of the game mm-hmm. like there's yeah. a couple of times where like like, like like someone reacts or something and, and, and then someone's like oh he died <laughs> where is he uh kind of gave it away they, sh- they should yeah. do but it it's, like, like a, almost an hour long and i was only like 20 minutes in so oh Long game, long game. Like play long yeah, do they, I mean, because they're showing like the whole games and stuff, right? Because it's like yeah, they explain it and everything. Oh, and like they're all noobs, like us. I don't, I don't know if they're. <laughs> I, th- I think we we're more noobs. Oh, okay. No, okay. Maybe I'll check it out. It pretty, the little bit I watched was pretty interesting. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like Yumiki's gonna do something. N- knowing her, she's like. She knows what she's doing, you know? Yeah, yeah. You mean she was uh, terrible at Werewolf, dude. Did you watch that shit on 46-hour TV? <laughs> oh, yeah, she was, though, yeah. I always forget to watch it. Yeah. So we'll see. But she's, like, chaotic, not, like, in, in an intentional way, but very much chaotic in, like, a, I forgot what role I was playing way. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I think I saw someone on Twitter describe it as she should min max and just put all, all of her points in charm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, under yeah, I can see that. Mm-hmm. I'll I'll check it out to that. see if she becomes imposter. If she doesn't, then it's a I waste. The first she isn't, so we'll see. Mm. I'm, I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, I want to see what Yumiki's like as imposter. That seems really only funny. if she's imposter. <laughs> like she I'm gonna yeah, I'll check it out. That's the only thing I watched. This yeah. Hmm? That's that's more than what I watched. I heard. Yeah, I feel I keep thinking I watched something else, but I don't think I did this week. Um Yeah. Did anybody ever watch that Sites of Cookie thing? Or unplugged or what? Yeah. I I, I, I I keep meaning to like I keep wanting to skim it on my my stream, but uh, I I keep going on like really long tangents and rants and then running out of time and then be like oh I have a this little club meeting oh, I have to end the stream now, so hopefully soon I'll get to finally watch it. Mm-hmm. I've been meaning to as well. I just keep forgetting. But uh yeah I guess that's it for the TV show highlights, which means that's it for this week's episode. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching and sticking by. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you drop a comment down below about what you thought about this week's episode. Are you guys excited for Rena's photo book? What about some of these stage plays coming out, huh? Uh, let us know what you think. Uh, are you trying to get one of the uh, Baby Hole posters? Let us know. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Or give us a follow over at twitch.tv slash slope club where we do the live show every Tuesdays at around 7 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, we got the pre-show, the post-show, as well as the break in between where we hang out, interact with chat, talk about whatever. But the only way you can be included is you come hang out. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it from us this week. We'll see you guys next week. Peace.